So your two <coughs> distributed forces got replaced by two concentrated forces with magnitudes 300 and 600. Now we're going to go one more step from here and what we try and do now is to find <coughs> just one single force and then we want to see exactly how far it's going to be from C. So, so the, the second step has really nothing to do with the distributed loading. It's simply you have a set of loading like this and that's being changed into a single force. So <coughs> uh, then we're going to take this, this angle here, this is the theta. So F R X, X component of this will be the same thing as this. So <coughs> this negative 600 Newton. Then F R Y, there's only one force, that's going to be negative 300 Newton. I mean, <coughs> when you're looking at the equivalent forces, then the two sets of forces should have the same xy component. So if that's the xy component, the magnitude is the square root of negative 600, negative 300, there's a square on the top of that, and <coughs> if you go to the actual numbers, this will be 671 Newton approximately. Then the angle theta, We redraw these components. This is x, this is y. <coughs> then the x component will be like this, 600. Y component will be like this, 300. So the resultant should be in the third quadrant. That's F R. Let's call this angle as theta. So from this diagram, you get tangent theta, that's this height which is 300 divided by the base which is 600, theta will be tangent inverse 0.5 and <coughs> I mean if you, I mean the actual number here is 26.6 degrees. So <coughs> we got the force or the actual resultant. We also know how much angle is going to make with the x-axis. We also know its direction. The only thing left is this d. So if I sum my moment above c for both cases, for this one as well as this one, this is c. <coughs> so for the, from the first one, you get 600 <laughs> acting at a distance of 3 is counterclockwise plus you have 300 the distance from here is this which is 1 so the, the, it's going to be 1 and that's also counterclockwise so this has to be equal to the moment of this so we're looking at this component and this component. This component is uh, 300. This component is 600. This goes right through this. So zero moment. This one's going to give you a moment. That's 600 d, and that's also counterclockwise. So you can find D as 18 plus 3 is 2100 divided by 600. So that's 7 over 2 or 2.5 meters. So this distance here should be 2.5 meters. 